everybody, Mad Max here. Next in the Flying Circus 3DU series, we have Smokin' Joe McBride, who's going to be walking us through the Rolling Harrier. The Rolling Harrier is one of the most dramatic and advanced maneuvers that you'll do in 3D. It's also one of my favorites. For this maneuver, we're going to switch to 3D flight mode, maximum deflection on all flying surfaces. Alright, the control inputs for this maneuver are based on the same stick inputs as a rolling circle. However, the rolling harrier requires max surface deflection and is performed with the plane in a high alpha post stall orientation. Dude, this all sounds kind of confusing. Okay, let's take a look at the sticks. The key to the maneuver is acquiring the rhythm of the stick movements through practice, repetition, and, and more practice. Another key element will be the modulation of the throttle to maintain altitude and attitude. When is the best time to input throttle? It doesn't matter. If your timing is right, the rudder and elevator will be positioned properly to lift the nose. So what you're saying is that by increasing the throttle, we pick up the nose and vice versa? Yes, but don't add too much throttle for too long or you're going to end up vertical. What's going to be tough in the beginning is that when the nose drops, the plane's speed increases and the rhythm changes. The more you can maintain that high alpha attitude, the slower, more consistent the roll rate will be, and therefore the more consistent the inputs of rudder and elevator will be. You know, Max, there's a bunch of ways you can enter this. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> tell, you know, tell, tell us how you're going to enter this maneuver, Joe. There's a bunch of ways you can enter it. Uh, you you're basically you just want to get the plane slowed down and high alpha. So you can enter from a 3D snap. You could do a high alpha knife edge. Mm -hmm. We're going to actually just set up a Harrier and we're going to come into it. That's the simplest way and away we go. Here we go. Alright, well for, for, for those of you who don't know, uh, just about every plane I've balled up uh, has had something to do with Smoke and Joe. So, Joe, do you think we should do this a little bit higher? Oh, come on. I guess till you get the hang of things, you might want to be a couple mistakes high. Oh, okay. The interesting thing is that we're going to do a Harrier rolling circle. It's actually easier than a straight line because the rudder and elevator inputs will happen simultaneously. Anyway, holding full left aileron, I'm going to lead with right rudder and I'll feather in a little down elevator. Yeah, and let me guess what comes next. Up elevator with left rudder. Exactly. Then we'll alternate the sticks between the two. Think about the stick inputs that would direct the plane upward and toward the center of the circle. Watch how I feed in the throttle. When you see the nose drop or you lose altitude, give a little throttle bump. You're going to end up anticipating this as you progress. Uh, Joe, i got to tell you, you're making this all sound way too easy. Well, Max, I'm not saying it's easy, but watch the tape repeatedly, get the feel for things. Then once you've got the correct inputs, go try it on the simulator or out at the field, and eventually you're going to get the hang of it. All right, so practice makes perfect. Yeah, buddy, it's just like riding a bike. Next time, by the way, we're going to look at some of the more dramatic entries we talked about and demonstrate how to straighten out that roller. We're also going to look at what things can go wrong and how to correct them. Thanks, Joe. That wraps up this portion of 3D University. Please come back to www.flyingcircus.com often for updates.